review, toy review. What? Wait, I miss. Oh no, we don't have K Toro. We we need him for this. Come on. And there he is. We're gonna need you for this. So hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video, which is the biggest one we've done. The one you've all been waiting for, I'm pretty sure, because I've been teasing it, you've been asking for it, and, well, we've got Toro here, so you know it's serious. And, well, I think we should just, you know, not waste any time here, and let's get the queen herself. It is time to unbox the one, the only, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which I don't know how many there's been so far, like... 20? 20? But yes, another T-Rex here on the list, but, well, the first unboxing of a T-Rex that we've done. And there's a reason. There's been plenty that have been tempting me, if, tempting me with the dark side, but the reason I chose this is mainly because of the paint job, which, in my opinion, is the best one we've seen so far. There will be some issues, of course, but we're gonna first look at the box itself, which has the classic Dino Escape um, background art, which shows broken fence and some of Isla Nublar's landscape and jungles. And speaking of which, what's the full title of this? Um, what's it? The f oh yes, the full title of this is the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. Which, yep, it definitely matches that because. It's got some cool features, which one of them I didn't realize when I actually bought this guy. I only realized it when I was like, you know, playing with him in the box on my way home, which... Sad state, you guys see. Sad state. But, oh, yeah, one more thing first. We need to do the back of the box. Oh, goddammit, don't do the screech. The back of the box, which shows the action features, as you can see here. The roaring, the... Um, little cage piece, which is a nice addition, which for some reason isn't on many of the other ones. Like, I know it's on the um, Carcharodontosaurus for the Mega Destroyers, as well as the um, Stegosaurus, I believe, has one. I think it has one for its tail. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But all other ones, including like the Baryonyx, the Ankylosaurus here, and Serata, wherever he. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Um, those guys, they don't have one, which is kind of weird because. It seems many people associate the dinoscape with this cage feature, which, I don't know, it's a cool thing, don't get me wrong, just weird that not all of them have it. And also the other feature, which is the stomping feet, which is where it gets its part of its title. And yeah, that's, that's it for the box, not too much to it. And, well, I don't think we should waste any more time here and, you know, get them out of the box, which... I am prepared, guys. I have the scissors. So, let's cut free. Ow. Also, speaking of which, always cut away from yourself. And, of course, if you are a child under certain ages, do get a parent's supervision, please. Because, well, don't want you cutting yourself. And let's get this cage piece. Uh-huh, there you go. And there's also a piece in plastic there. I'll have to get that in a second. Hey, hey, hey. We do the sound effects later. Now, how am I supposed to get his... F I'm gonna have to cut it, aren't I? Oh! I hate... Why, why, why does it do... Why does the box hate me? Let's just, um... Yep, just ruin the box, you know. It's not like I'm gonna keep it or anything. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna keep it. I have no room for it. And... Well... Carefully take... Wait. What's his foot stuck in? Hold on. Oh, for gosh sakes, he's got one of those bolt things on the foot. Aha! And... There we go. The Rex is free, and we can put you back up. And, well, we don't need the box anymore. That was that. And we don't need the scissors. And, oh dear, poor, poor Mrs. G-Rex, she's got a broken foot, a little, just a little bit broken, guys, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just turn it around, though. There we go, she's got a nice fixed foot, and, damn, that's a big foot and looks so good. And there we go, the Apex herself, 
the Tyrannosaurus Rex finally unleashed. And my god, she she's just staring to <laughs> the way it's positioned for me is like Rex is just literally staring down Toro and he's the way his jaws positions, he's like, uh I don't wanna fight her. Even though, speaking of which, before we get into the toy itself, one little thing I forgot to mention is like the size issue with Toro now. Now, he's definitely like he's only like two thirds as long as Rexy, but the height of him, like because this is Toro, who's a juvenile Carnotaurus, like, not a full adult like the demon Carnotauruses are. And you look at him, and he's almost as tall as the T-Rex herself. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. And especially, especially when you compare her to someone like Bumpy, who we've seen is, like, a little bit shorter, of course, because she's a young Ankylosaurus, but you've seen her in, like, She's a similar size to him, and you look at this, and Toro's, like, double her length, which, and also, like, double her height, which, gotta say, for their size thing, it's not really working out cause for, like, Bumpy, but we're gonna put you back, Bumpy, put you up there with, um, Limbo and Rodrigo and, well, everybody else, and you will scoot you, and now let's get on to the Apex herself, which... She just looks so good, and the paint job is actually probably the best that I've seen for the T-Rex. Well, for all the T-Rexes that I know of, there's probably some mysterious ones that I haven't seen. Like, like how many T-Rexes do they actually have? Like, good God, they, they, I think that's the main dinosaur they make. Like, every wave, they've got to have a T-Rex. Like, for Camp Cretaceous, they already have two. They have this one. Actually, no, they have three if you include the... Legacy one that shares this skin pattern. Good God, they have a lot of T-Rexes. How many do they need? For toy collections, they're like, okay, enough's enough. We've got enough T-Rex. But, like, the sculpt in this. And also, of course, she has her signature scars, which in close-ups you'll be able to see. But, like, I do wish they were to show more. Like, I know they just, like, literally molded into the skin. But, like, they should, like, have some paint work to, like, you know... Make them stand out a bit more. Jesus, those feet are huge. Compared to Toro's itty tiny long feet, these are huge, muscly, raw feet. Well, so are his for the raw part, but I have no idea what's wrong with me sometimes. And of course, we have the cage setting itself, which first, we're actually going to check out the features. So, it has a button on the button on the top, which allows it to roar, which gives off sound effects, which I believe there's three, which let's see. First one. Okay, that is definitely, it's got a similar T-Rex sound, but it's got the Indominus tones to it. And second roar. Yeah, that's definitely T-Rex and oh, the jaw's a little loose, which I know exactly why the jaw's like not closing all the way like it should. It's because like when I went to buy this one, literally there was a bunch of kids who kept on t touching it and using the button. But then one kid was trying to buy, grab it and like take it and stuff. And since I'd been waiting months, literally months for it, which here's the funny story. I literally like cut in front of him like a little brat, even though I'm an adult guy, good God. The state of me, you know, COVID's done its mark on me because like look at me i literally dived in front of a like i don't know six-year-old kid got in his way grabbed the toy and was like out of there and also final war i think oh yeah that is definitely an awesome roar that is definitely rex's roar awesome and ooh, nice detail on the i love the detail that they give on the arms now like I remember when Hasbro's like came out and they were like old wrinkly like bony looking arms but like these ones even though they're t the tiny classic T-Rex arms they look so muscular and like powerful and 
they show so much detail and guys the fact that this is a great quality product it's got its fingernails painted unlike toro unlike well any of these guys the sign of a great quality product not just the toenails no no even the fingernails guys the fingernails they're painted but also speaking of the paint job my one complaint for it is actually the beige color like you may be thinking what about the tail and stuff how the black spot the dark spots don't go on which that's a little thing but I can survive without that because the way they've done it instead of like it literally cutting off like they do for most of their products like even if we like um pardon me um Grim I need to borrow you you're a perfect example like many people complain how like for like Mr. Limbo here you can see the brown like it's normally supposed to go go all the way to the tail because that's how it appears in the show but it literally stops and then turns to this green and then instantly stops but the thing I like about this guy is, let me put you back here, thank you very much, is what I like is actually how it's sort of, because of the way the pattern is, it sort of like breaks off and then like little bits just stop at certain points. So it feels sort of natural. But the brown itself, I'm not the hugest fan of. Like the reason why is because like, especially in the first movie and stuff and even in Fallen Kingdom, Rexy appears to be like a very dark gray or sometimes even black like especially in the first movie during some of the night scenes she like especially in the CGI form she's like a black color or like a very dark gray and then in the light she's like this really beige which I feel like they're going for the beige look but this feels like they tried to go in between that but it doesn't fit I would have preferred that they've gone a bit darker because in fact when I was actually looking at this online, the image shows it very dark, like a dark color. I'm probably showing you an image that I've seen. And it looks so good and so much better. Like these are like the spots on the top are like complete dark black and then like a charcoal gray for it. And then a nice light underbelly, which sort of blends into and looks really nice. I do like the underbelly as well. The underbelly color, it really fits for the T-Rex as well. If we look at the paint job it in the mouth, it actually is really good. Now it's unfortunately the whole thing except for the arms and actually the teeth are plastic. Like, is the tail? No, also in the back of the tail. The back of the tail has its signature rubber bit to, you know, help it balance out because like their tails aren't as long as they should be for most of them. But the cool feature about the te teeth actually is that they're this nice rubber Feel, and you can actually move them which looks really really cool and actually feels nice I would say that um and for the paint job on them it actually is really good there's no over paint paint on mine oh, oh my god that scared the that scared the hell out of me I just was like what the hell <laughs> don't scare me while I'm reviewing you now let's get on to the capture set which um, actually breaks off and does this break off? Yeah, it does. And let's actually put you in. I know. No, we're encaging. I think it's time to free this Rex. She's been in prison long enough. Yeah. There you go. That does it and kind of got stuck. And where'd, where'd the other one go? So yeah, like it's really good. Just like literally pops off it has three pieces to it and it comes off real easy and attaches even easier and stuff like just simply little connections and then now also i forgot to do the feet feature but like yeah this little mechanic it's really good and um now on to the feet which is the best part like I remember with the, um, what was it called, the Stomp and Strike, like the first electronic T-Rex that they did for Mattel, it had that button that was on the foot, like you could press it and it made it do the stomping, but they've actually improved on that, and if you use the tail and twist it, you can actually, um, make it walk, which, you know the, and it's not just this, not just one leg, it's both, so you just turn, and there you go. So, like, you can literally have it, like, walking. 
And there you go. Like, it's so cool that it's like that. Now, for electronics, that is an amazing feature. It just shows that they are able to do what I've been saying they should do, which for anyone who's seen my unboxings of amber dinosaurs, you know that I want to see like an amber version of a T-Rex and stuff. The big ones as well, not just like, because they, for dinosaurs, apart from Dimorphodon and Pteranodon, they've just done Velociraptors, and they've said they're only going to stay with um, small dinosaurs, but I want to see like some herbivores, and like, if we, imagine if a kid saw like a a perfect T-Rex, like, from the original movie, or the Lost World, even, like, perfect paint job and stuff, stuff, or, like, near perfect, they're not 100% accurate, but that's me, and, like, just imagine that, like, and the fact that they've proven that they can, like, you know, because they have these, like, mechanics in the leg right here, like, it literally is, they've just shown that they can do it, like, literally, they just have to have this, Except, you know, where it's not activated by a tail, like, you just move it. I do think the head should definitely have, like, a rubber feel to it, like they do with Toro's head and stuff. Because, like, as you can see with Toro, it doesn't really, like, come noticeable. It just feels like the skull is, like, thicker than the neck. And it would work perfectly for this. I think the only reason they didn't do that is because of, like, the scars. Because, like, where some of the scars are, it's actually like both on their neck and their j jaw and upper and lower jaw so it kind of wouldn't work but you know they could work that out but guys that is the tyrannosaurus rex well i forgot its name what's it called stomp and escape tyrannosaurus rex and it's it's amazing it's big and actually it works out well i still think they have way too many t-rexes to be honest but we're gonna stick you on there because i want to I want to break you off again because it's cool and if you're thinking of like for someone like me who was like waiting for the right t-rex to get this right now until like dominion and like what else we get this for me is the one it's got the it's got better mechanics it's got a the best paint job like paint job is like probably nine or eight or nine for me the reason why is um mainly that i feel like it could be darker and that the stripes could go onto the tail as many people are going to suggest in the comments but for me i think it's still a really good dinosaur and if you've enjoyed this video i'd appreciate the like and if you haven't already do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt and of course be safe and i'll see you later Bye bye